Hi, I'm Jack Pepin, and this is American Master at Home. I want to show you how to make spaghetti and pesto. Full summer. I have plenty of uh, basil in my garden. This can be an expensive dish if you have to buy the basil, of course, and it can be very free, like for me, because during the, the summer I have all those herbs in the garden. So uh, I have a lot of boiling water here, and I'm only doing half a pound. Spread out your pasta a little bit so it gets soft. It fall in it, and the timing of the pasta is entirely up to you. For me, I like it a bit firm, but usually cooked. So it's gonna go at least for 10, 10, 12 minutes, we'll check. So here I'm getting my uh, basil, and of course I'm not taking the flowers here. If you have a little bit of the stem, it's okay, it's okay also, you know. Here it is. Okay, I have here probably four or five cup of uh, basil, you know, kind of uh, loosely packed if you want, you know, like this, just to give you an idea. What I want to do then is to blanch this. And what I will do, I will put it directly into a, something like this and put it into my pasta water. Just basically coming back to a boil and it go to nothing. With this, I'm going to do a puree of that into the blender. See, that's enough. That's enough here. You got to cool that off here now and have some water and ice here. Oop. Okay, to cool it off. And that's it. So as you see, I, my, my five, five cup of, uh, of things are, are done to uh, not too much. Press it a little bit. That I will put into the blender here. Okay. A good dash of salt there. That would keep it green. And a little bit of oil. Not enough oil to do like a pesto, but a couple of tablespoons. This is the first part of one recipe that I want to show you. So here. And I can always put a little bit of water in it, even that water. So here I have a beautiful green puree of basil, very strong. And what I do very often, see I take a little bit of this, couple of tablespoons here, I fold it like this and put that in the freezer, which is what I have here, as you can see, those, and this again, a couple of those, I put a quart of uh, olive oil in there and I have flavored uh, olive oil with basil. I'll put that in this one also. Or then I do it in soup, or in salad, or in pasta, or in rice. So, you know, I use that during the winter, and of course, at that time, the, 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 the basil is very expensive. But here, I have what I have left to do my pesto. I'm going to put about half of a jalapeno in there. And if I use the jalapeno, you know, the first thing that I do, I test it. Yeah, some, sometimes sometime it's really very hot and sometimes pretty mild, so you adjust yourself. And nuts. I have about a third of a cup of nuts here. The classic is pine nuts. Pretty expensive too, but you can use hazelnut, uh, walnut, whatever. Here I'm using pumpkin seed. I have them in my uh, freezer. So, but you know, when you use any type of nuts, I would tell you, test it. Because you keep them ahead and they get rancid sometimes. And it ruins the whole dish, so those are, are good. Have that in there. Couple of tablespoons of, uh, well, three tablespoons of uh, Parmesan cheese. I'm going to put a little more olive oil for that. 
and this will be the base of my pesto. And you could do that ahead, you know. Go ahead to have your pesto ready to toss with your pasta. I'm going to have it here, a beautiful, bright green color. Make sure that you clean up that good. And I use a little bit of the pasta water in there, probably half a cup. I can take it directly from here and use it to clean up my Okay, because when the pasta is cooked, I put it in there in a few minutes and that water will be absorbed. All right, so here is my pesto that I can do ahead, a beautiful green color as you can see. Let me test it. Oh, delicious. You know, when they call a pasta very al, al, al dente, it's too small to show you, but if you cut the pasta, your spaghetti in half like this, you can see in the center of the pasta, a tiny, tiny white dot. That white dot is uncooked pasta dough. And that's often the way it is eaten in, the, in Italy, really al dente like that. I like it a little more cooked myself. I'm gonna drain it out. Remember, usually I take some of the water of the pasta, but I already put it in there. Okay, have my pasta right here boiling hot that I put here. And as I said, if you leave it a couple of minutes, which I do usually then, that mixture will be absorbed. And have a beautiful green color. See, as you can see, half a pound of pasta, probably a little too much for two, three people maybe, a little dash of salt. Maybe another little dash of uh, oil on top. And that's it. Whoop. Of course, I'll always make a mess out of it. Okay. A beautiful portion of pasta here. Probably a little more powder sheet on top. And this is it. Spaghetti and pesto right from my garden. Happy cooking. Thank you for joining me. For more, subscribe to this channel or watch here. Thank you and happy cooking.